Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I want to share my opinion on do we need carbohydrates, okay? So now there's going to be a lot of different viewpoints that people are going to talk about. I'm just going to give my two cents. I don't want to get in an argument with anyone, but let me just give you some basics on what I think is very workable. But whatever works for you, go ahead and go for it. So people think they need carbohydrates mainly for energy, but you can run your body on other types of calories. You can run your body on protein. You can run your body on fat. And um, so you don't always have to run your body on carbohydrates. So there's this myth that you have, like all the energy you have in your body comes from a carbohydrate. Not necessarily true. So let me just kind of explain. So you got simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates are like sugar, honey, agave nectar. So what happens is that goes in your body really fast and it spikes the sugar. It might give you some temporary energy, but then you're going to come down because you have the hormone called insulin that regulates that. But then complex carbohydrates have a lot of uh, additional things like fiber that slow the breakdown of the carbohydrate in the body. And so it doesn't create that same effect as table sugar. So here's the thing though. Let's just kind of break down each type of carbohydrate. Now, some of this actually con uh, c contains proteins, amino acids, but mainly it's a carbohydrate, okay? We definitely need more vegetables, not necessarily for the carbohydrate, but mainly for the vitamins, okay, and the minerals. That's really why we need those, because that's where most of the vitamins and minerals come from. It also has fiber, but what fiber does, it's, it's not necessarily um, something like a bulking agent, it's mainly to feed the microbes. Your intestinal flora, your good bacteria, live on microbes and they need fiber. And you don't have to get your fiber from bran or grains. You can get it from the vegetable family, okay? So that's why we need vegetables in large quantities too. Um, beans. Now, the thing about beans is it doesn't turn into sugar as fast as other types of carbohydrates. However, if you have a slow metabolism, if you're trying to lose weight, I have found that people have a hard time doing this on beans because it's, it's a lot of carbs, okay? So if it works for you, try it. If you have a slow metabolism, you might not want to consume very many beans, okay? A lot of people have gas with beans as well. So that's my viewpoint on that. Now, fruits. Fruits are great, but the problem is that it can range from a high glycemic index to a low glycemic index. If you have like berries and things, that's a little lower than apples. Apples have like 19 to 30 grams of sugar per apple. That's like a lot of sugar. So the thing about fruits is this. On some people, it's going to slow them down to lose weight. Okay, They're not going to be able to lose weight as fast. Now you're going to have exceptions to the rule with people with a faster metabolism, but I'm dealing with mainly women in their 50s who have a hard time and I get the fruit out of the diet and boom, everything starts going down a lot easier. So again, you're going to have exceptions, but typically fruit is just too sweet. It's too much carbohydrate. Now, there are viewpoints out there that you see people that do a fruit diet and they lose all this weight. Well, probably because they cut out all of the sugar, okay, that's in the diet as well. And their metabolism might be a little bit faster. But I'm just talking about if you take someone that's been dieting for many years and you keep them on fruit, it's going to slow them down. I used to recommend fruit. I don't recommend fruit if you're trying to lose weight. Okay? There is some vitamins in fruit, maybe a little bit of berry, but not much. Okay? Now, grains. Grains, you have like whole wheat bread and white bread, the whole thing. Here's the thing. It's very, very similar as their glycemic index, so it does turn into sugar fairly fast, and I don't recommend grains for two reasons. Number one, there is not a lot of nutrition in grains. Some people disagree, but just look it up. It's not that high if you compare it to vegetables. Um, the other thing is it's real hard in the digestive system because it has gluten. Gluten is the protein in grains. And gluten creates all sorts of celiac problems and irritable bowel syndrome and irritation to the colon. And it's one of those things that you just have to try it yourself and see if, it, if you feel better not consuming it, okay? I found that when you consume grains, people get a lot of bloating and you just have to know yourself and just try it out. Um, the other thing is starches. So there are diets out there that recommend tons of starches and some people lose weight, some people don't. Well, here's the point. I don't want to get into a whole debate on starches. I just want you to go ahead and try it for yourself. Eat starches for a week and see if you lose weight. And if you do, great. 
uh, my experience is that you probably are not going to lose weight because these starches turn into sugar pretty darn fast. It's not the highest sources of vitamins compared to vegetables, so I like to stay away from these right here. Okay? Now, if you're trying to gain weight, I think potatoes are the best food that you can consume. Okay? Maybe wild rice. If you're a, a high-level athlete doing marathons, okay, then you might you have a high metabolism. Maybe you're going to need some brown rice, maybe potato. But for the average person, they can't, they can't get away with it. Okay, in summary, do we need carbohydrates? Well, we do need carbohydrates for our vitamins and minerals and fiber. Okay? Hope you learned something. Make some comments below, and I will see you in the next video.